All right, boys and girls, welcome to uh, the CMP podcast. That stands for Chimpack, Mace, and Pokeaim. Mo, it's not with us today. He is sick. His car broke down. Uh, introduce yourself, boys. Hey, guys, it's Mr. Moet. I am not the Mr. Moet. I am a Mr. Moet. I am Chris, but you can call me Mr. Moet. Hey, Mo, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, come on, Mo. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? I didn't know we're doing introductions today. How's everybody doing? I'm doing, I'm doing great. great. I'm doing great. Thank, that's my line. I'm doing great. I'm doing You're phenomenal. Doing okay. I'm doing, fan- doing okay. fantastic week of anime. I'm doing this spectacular. It was, it was pretty good. Fantastic I disagree. I disagree, but we'll discuss that later on. Can't wait to see why you disagree. Can't wait to see why you disagree. Let's start with <laughs> Chainsaw Man. This was Fantastic a good episode. episode. This was a good episode of Chainsaw. Oh, Man. I thought you disagreed. I thought you disagreed. I'm you talking disagree? about the. I'm talking about overall. I'm talking about overall. Wait, 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 wait. Chimpak, agree or disagree? Chainsaw Man. Agree. Chainsaw Man is good this week. This okay. week. This Whoa. week. Okay. Hating. Hmm. A lot of funny I mean, moments. One week wasn't good. No, I'm. I'm saying, the overall, the week was not as good as the past couple weeks. Oh. No. Okay. We got a hater. I, I guess it's fair. What, what did you man. like about Chainsaw Man? What I like about it, it was it was just a nice, it's like a a lot of backstory. Of course, I love the backstory. I love my boy Aki. We get a little bit more information about like she's Makima. She's she's got something. She, there's a little there's a little something off about her that I can't put my finger on. Something off. Oh. Huh? There's something he off about her. Uses and abuses people. Is that it? Maybe I think I think that might be it. I think that before might this be episode, it. you thought she was like totally well adjusted and like completely normal. Oh, absolutely! I love Makima. I feel you. I'm with you. <laughs> she's like she's, she's like, like says, yeah. she's like hey hey. Drink contest, and then she knows she's gonna win, so she's just like, <laughs> nice try, boys. Nice try. No secrets for me. Okay. He's so uh, she's so oh, manipulative. Yeah. Making the dude think twice about kissing and everything because she knows how she affects him. Exactly. It wasn't, it wasn't even... I don't think she made him. Th- oh well. Okay. Oh, no, it, I, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. yeah. He didn't have a choice. That's right. He yeah. got pulled in. Exactly. But 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 she hella is manipulating him, making him question things like this because she knows she knows what she can get out of him. And I like that. And, and you know what? what? I like that. I like that he didn't have to beat the gun devil to get the kiss. It was yeah, but his... not the girl he wants. Wait. Uh, it should be the girl he did want. What do you mean? She's better. Oh, 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 okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Because I was, I was just Wait, thinking. She I was just. To be the blood devil. She just said, you know. I was just th- killed the devil in here. Let's go get a kiss from me. No, no, no. he's talking about Makima. Makima the... says gun devil. She, she said, she yeah, said, Makima said she kissed him for the gun devil. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she no, said she'll do said anything. She'll give him anything. Yeah. Oh yeah. I well, passed girl. I passed girl a little. That's that's so loud. Yeah, that's so last week though. We already got everything we want this week from this other girl. Nah, <laughs> nah, not yet. Next week we'll see if we get everything we want. Is it? Is it just me <laughs> or? <laughs> Do, does anime censor throw up, or is that just how they draw it? They censor. Anime it. censors throw up. Because throw up is disgusting, and we don't stand by it. Okay, no, but there's like, no, but blood is fine. Yeah, because we have it, Chimp Act. I but everyone, know. everyone has throw up. I don't have throw up in my veins. Yeah, I've literally do. never thrown up one time. You're Can you imagine alive. how the show looks if you censor the blood? <laughs> like, <laughs> it would True. Be 90% blurry. True. Also, the apparently... The whole scene of him destroying the Eternity Monster would have been blurred. Yeah. yeah. That was, I, okay, I'll say I'll say one thing. that that The fight with the Eternity was kind of whack. It's like, I don't know. What did, what did you expect to happen? I, I, I expected that to happen, but I'm just saying it's whack. I mean, the what dude... would you advise that? What made it whack? It's just the same. It's, it's so. In Doctor Strange, we all watch Doctor Strange, right? I knew you were going this. I was about to say it too. Go ahead. That was the first one. The yeah, first the, one. the first Doctor Strange. I like that, but this is just like a copy, but it's like worse. I don't know. I'm just saying. Well, it's more. No, it's actually. It's actually not worse. No, well, it's more worse for the demon, because in Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange kept dying. Right, and the guy just get tired and bored of it after doing it hundreds and thousands and millions of times. However, how many, however many he ended up doing it, right? The guy was like, "No, I'm stuck here forever." 
In this one, the guy can keep generating, but he feels the pain and he and gets tired, which is why the guy just kept mm. eating and eating for two days, it said, right? Two, three days? Three Whatever days. Three yeah. days of no sleep, too. That's he kept, crazy. He kept cutting him down. And like, I mean, it makes sense. He's a demon. He only needs blood to re regenerate, right? So the dude's just drinking the blood of the other guy and keep oh. going and going and going and going. So the guy was like, no, please end me. I'm so done with this. <laughs> like, he's not used to people lasting. You three know? days? Three days. Three days. Blood. Oh my goodness. A He's a Christ He's a demon now, so he can he can okay. live off blood. I, I got I got it. I got it more. Mm. But <laughs> I don't know. They might be this might be some hidden. They released this they released this the wrong month. They released this episode on the wrong month. Mm. One month too early. One month. Yes, because that's what Christmas is all about. Blood. <laughs> It is. I'm, glad. <laughs> I'm, glad. It is. I'm glad you think that. It's all about drinking blood. I mean, it, it was cool. They got to like you know they got to know each other and, and go to the thing, which was nice. A little, little kampai and a little party and enjoying. What does things. that mean? Kampai. Cheers. Yeah. It's cheers. It's like cheers. It's like you know you, you raise your beer and. How many times have you guys said that before? Like, like in, in a couple of weddings. Cringe. And on, uh, I guess, New Year's sometimes. Not cheer, is the actual, what was it? We'll say that again? Kampai. Yeah. You guys say that often? Did you give it a note? No. No. I, I don't I live in Japan now. I said it right now. <laughs> that That's what I said. Like, you, as you said, you'd be like, uh, weddings, New Year's. Like, I like to. I say cheers. Kampai. <laughs> like, cheers. Like, like, I was just wondering, like, when, how often does everybody say it? Well, why you gotta, why you gotta be like this? I gotta be like what? I'm also, I I actually I I do use a different language to say cheers. I say salute. Okay. Okay. Mm. God bless you. But That's true. Thank you. I, I feel like uh, it, was, it was a good episode. You know, he got to he got to see the girl is the drunk. The kiss was like for him. Kiss. I don't like that he's 16, but the kiss was. I guess in the over there it's a different age. It wasn't. It wasn't good for him. It was not good. No, no. The kiss was good for him for a couple seconds. Okay, it was a couple seconds, and then he got nutrition after. It was like. Wait, it was why like was a, it only good for a couple seconds? To be honest, I guess the entire kiss was good for him because not only did he get the kiss, but hmm. he also, which they animated crazy. It was, it was like, whoa. Yeah, the yeah, yeah they went crazy yeah. with the animations. Yeah. yeah. But he also got like a, like a baby bird. He was fed. By mm -hmm. Mama. <laughs> Thank you. Man. And, uh, and you know, and then he ended up in Mama's bed at the end. That was a good so, reference. I like that. Good times. So uh, overall, I think it's a positive. No, thing. It, it wasn't because he literally said that that was the worst first kiss ever when he was throwing up. Well, he's a bad uh, guy for for thinking. How that, would he if, know? Yeah. No, but he said he know. said that he said that think, was his only first kiss. So how would that, he know? Doesn't even make sense. The dude eats garbage. Like, what are you complaining about? Oh, I, like, I also I also like, like that well, backstory. Like two, yeah, like two months ago, dude, he would have been hype up to eat that. I gotta forget it. No, no, that's why the he had that uh, flashback. Yeah, yeah. He was like, this is lower than humans, like, eating vomit. And now, <laughs> and now it is. It wasn't, it's not like he was sitting there gar uh, munching on vomit, like he had a spoonful of it. He was, you know, he was getting in his freaky bag. That's kind of kinky to me. Like, spit on me, throw up in my mouth, oh, like hit that. me, you know, regular. I feel like that's like no, regular no, no, kinky two, two of those are regular. The other... I the feel like between that you just put. Also, I feel like that's a meal. Y'all not cool hidden? You heard me. All that stuff is fine. The throwing up in your mouth, Moet? Not that great. I'm going to be honest. Throw up in my mouth a little bit. You know what? Open up your Tinder right now, and okay. I will talk to a girl for you, and I will say, I want you to throw up in my mouth. And I want, and if it happens, I want you, I want you to see what time will happen. I'll win. All right? You're going to throw up right back. It's going to be a whole family guy thing where everybody's throwing up. And you're going to come here and say, I had a terrible time. And you know what? Speedo. I will do that. And when I'll I fall it. in love with her and we get married, I'm going to thank you. And you'll be you're the good. reverend at my wedding. And I'll say this disgusting couple in front of me that I like to. That's <laughs> crazy. That's so <laughs> crazy. Did you, you have a toast. Did you, did you know the beef stew you're eating came from them? <laughs> you brought this true love together just to tear it apart. I don't get it, man. It'd be like that. But it is what it is. Be like that. This is a good episode overall. Uh, like I kept telling, like I told the group chat, I really, I need them, I need them, I need them to follow through next episode. Let's not dilly dally. It's not gonna happen, dude. 
Let's not dilly dally. Literally Let's not gonna happen. Get to the shit. He only wants to be with Mako, dude. It's not gonna happen. He feels <laughs> like first off, the girl's manipulating the hell out of him. Not not this girl that was on top of him. The other one. Makuma. Right, Makuma, Makuma's manipulating the hell out of him, making him double guess like the kiss and everything. I wish he didn't go to the bar. I wish he didn't come to the bar. I think he would have had a great time. Hello? You heard me? You wish who didn't come to the bar? Makuma. Did you? Makuma. Oh, Makuma. Oh. I don't, I don't want, I wish he didn't come to the bar because Denji would have had a great time. He probably would have gotten laid, but he's not going to get laid. He's still going to get laid. He's going to put gonna her in reverse laid. missionary. She's, okay. She's <laughs> missionary <laughs> from the bottom. I, she's gonna fall asleep on top of him, or he's gonna get scared and oh, no shot. She's about to have that boy spread eagle. Nope. She is gonna oh. pin his legs behind his ears. All right. I, I think you're confusing. What does he what? <laughs> nope. In the role, I don't know what I'm saying. Involving some stuff, but I know what I'm saying. No, no, no extra, nothing extra involved. Oh, hold reverse, on. Like, hold reverse on. missionary is insane. Hold on, Joey. Let me fire back at you though. Okay, go ahead. Who's manipulating who? Because she carried him all the way to her apartment. Well, you see, without his permission. Just, that is just a simple "I'm going to help you out" type of thing. Because you know he was throwing out, he was there, so you know what doesn't know where Denji lives, right? Probably does, but doesn't. And then decided, um, and then decided that I'm going to, you know, I'm gonna help him home and give him a place to rest for the night. See, there's something wrong with what you just said because Denji lives with Aki and uh, Power, so they could have brought him home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they didn't because Power is. Power very, wouldn't do very, it. No, Power, no power wouldn't do anything. She'd probably start punching him and do stuff like that. And and, then... and she was drunk while she did, so she wasn't in the right mindset either. So. No, it's a nice little forgive. It's a nice little one. Okay. We just wanted forgive? to talk. Exactly, just a little talk. Make sure he rests. You know, make sure he's he's. he's He's sleeping well. Make sure he's comfortable. That's what she got on top of him, just to make sure that he's a little comfortable. It's like, is this okay? Can you handle this? Because, you know, the blankets are a little heavy, so she wants to put something that's similar weight to a blanket. You never had a weighted blanket before on you? They're a little heavy. They're actually very great. They're, they're a little heavy. They make you sleep. Sometimes you can get a little claustrophobic. Can, can you explain the phenomenon? The electric of... ones, too? The electric ones are fire as well. Can you explain yeah, the phenomenon between fires, heavy blankets? Yes. The phenomenon? Yeah, what is, what is, what is the purpose? Uh, so what they do is they make you die so you can't wake up. Okay. That's like dope. The, so that's once again, like once again, in a coffin. it's, you're not in a great position with your argument here. Mm. Are you sure? I feel like I'm in a fine position. You're just, I'm you just honest. said that she, she, while drunk, she carried him to his house and she has weighted blankets ready to kill him through the weighted blanket. No, no, no. I said that she used her weight. So that way to see how much you can handle because not everybody can handle a weighted blanket. A baby, for instance, couldn't handle a weighted blanket and Denji's a baby to this world. He doesn't really understand how things, he didn't really grow up the way other people did. So, all in all, she's just keeping him warm in the winter. Okay. You gotta That's test him out for the reverse missionary. Okay. Exactly. For okay. the winter. For when they go on a mission trip. Thank you, Mo. Exactly. Thank you. you <laughs> you've seen the... Uh... Did did they take? Oh, you know, you you guys are from the West Coast, so I don't know if you've ever been to the, like the missions. Have you? The mission the East. Yeah, like the um, like the yeah, it's like all up and down California, like the the when before uh, California was America. Uh, uh, a lot it was of Calimur. a lot of uh, I don't know, I don't know what you would call them, natives, I guess used to live in the land and they had these things these buildings called missions hmm. they left a couple of them up and they would take us on field trips to go see them it was pretty cool we would run up and down them shits wow very, very very respectful yeah it was dope completely lost very very respectful hmm. finders keepers it. That's yeah, true. Uh, that is true. Finders keepers, losers weepers. That is the motto of America. That is, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> That's how we got this place. Let's go, <laughs> USA, USA. <laughs> Speaking of USA, uh, his Spy, values do not reflect the entire group. Spy X family. <laughs> they do. Is a wonderful allegory for USA. So, mm. eight out of ten. By the way, Chainsaw Man. Eight out of ten. Anybody? Yeah, eight, nine. Perfect. I I'll give it a nine powers grade in this episode. Oh yeah, this is mine. This is I mine. have a thousand IQ. 
<laughs> yeah. When when they were arguing about the IQ, she was like, uh, actually, it might be like 5,000. 100? <laughs> She's like, 200? <"Hey>, 10,000. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually the smartest person ever. Well, she's going to get that Nobel Peace Prize, so she has to be pretty smart. That makes sense. That's true. 1,000%. Yeah, this, this is an 8, but this episode, I will retroactively increase it to a 10 if the next episode oh, I see, I see. follows through. Now, when they don't, will you retroactively I will retroactively decrease it, decrease it to yeah. a 6. Yeah. Just as big as your... No in-between? The in-between is 8. It's at an 8 right now. It can go up or down. But it can only go up or down. There, You're right. There is nothing else that will happen. Okay. So this episode of Spy X Family. I'm not going to lie. I was a bit distracted watching this. So I was not really enjoying it that much. I'll have to rewatch it. You didn't, okay. This is a pretty good episode. Um, let's see. From my memory banks. Uh, Fiona got introduced pretty quickly. And uh, she was trying to um, infiltrate the family. It was pretty funny, the scene with Anya reading Fiona's mind. Because I'm like, yo, is she think?" And this is probably, I had the same face as Anya when she was reading her mind. Because I was like, yo, is she actually thinking all this right now? Like, she's sitting here in the kitchen looking at their family being like, yo, all right, so this is how the wedding going to go. This is what we're going to serve at the reception. I'm going to invite this person and this person. Oh, this person can't come. Let's see. We're going to sing this song. Like she's sitting here going through their entire life together. Looking more in yeah. her face. Yeah. I didn't know if she was like singing out loud either because like there was a scene with your when she's in the kitchen and she's like, dang, is she the new wife now? Because I was, I was a bit confused. So what Wait, happened what was she got cut off before uh, she was going to say, Oh, uh, Floyd thinks you you suck and you're a horrible wife. But before she can say that, uh, Lloyd came in and she's like, oh, well, I can't say that in front of his face. Uh, so she kind of like, she was trying to put up the context together and figure out what she was trying to say. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yours are already pretty insecure about her world as a wife. She can't cook. Uh, that's she should be insecure. She can cook one can't, thing. Okay. Can't cook. Is she, she clean? clean? She cleans Does very she clean? well. She's she a murderer. Cleans? She can clean super well. All right. If she cleans, then maybe she I can cares about up. Anya, and she can race across the city in uh, all them cars to get The rest of these things don't matter. Does she cook? Does she clean? <laughs> she can cook, but after like 15 tries. Let me tell you how she got this meal. ring, Moet. How'd she get it? Follow me. Follow me. Not, okay. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you have a stroke there? <laughs> we have to slur the words that way we don't get copyright. <laughs> no mini <laughs> seizure, no big deal. MVD. But I like I like the episode. It for was like, a good for, episode. Like when they scored the goals in it and everything, it was a fantastic episode. When I saw it. <laughs> and then she sat there and was like, "Lloyd is faking this smile. This is the fakest smile I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen a faker smile. He hates every moment of this. <laughs> She's so jealous." She's so mad. Yeah, she's she's definitely a crazy ex girlfriend. So Men, we know how to be friends. My favorite Family Guy reference. Another another you question. Think, uh, you guys think Lloyd's gonna um, he's gonna notice that Fiona has feelings, or is he gonna play the the typical you know trope of being completely oblivious? No, because he's not an oblivious person, except for to Anya having superpowers, which is not really hard to. And also, he's he's oblivious to your having superpowers. Yeah, okay, she that... doesn't have superpowers. She's a superhuman. No, human. she does. She, she does. Yeah, but that's superpowers. Okay, is that the she's same? She's super powerful. She's super powerful. But yeah. um, he's not that oblivious. I mean, he fought her one v one. He's like, yo, what and is he this? was just like, damn, she got some moves. Okay, he wasn't like, yo, yeah, he wasn't actually. She's completely about breaking me apart. Here. Yeah, like, but she. I guess he couldn't really approach her about it. It's like, how do I say I fought her? Sure. Also, didn't she stop like a bull in front of them? Yeah, she uh, she's insane. She might and that's just like insane. regular shit. It's just like, oh yeah, I took the bull stopping course the other day, as it should be. And then she, when when normal. she was teaching on, I, I love how Anya just accepts it because obviously Anya knows. And when she's teaching yeah, her how to fire, remember when she taught her how to do the dodgeball and everything? She oh yeah, on the trees. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> what a good time. That was amazing. What a good time. I, I, I wish Lloyd could have been there to see that shit. He was like, yo's. And she'd just be like, oh, yeah, I learned this at the uh, the forest clearing class. This is what they're well, teaching to clear forest now. Well, the reason why he's not... um. The reason why he's not being so crazy about it is because he was, he was doing that. Remember, they, they did the investigation and they dressed up as the the people from the people they're fighting, the bad guys, and they tailed her and then they confronted her and everything was all right. Yeah, but that was like a quick little. I was like, yo, what's up with your brother? I heard he. I heard, no, they they didn't even confront her because she doesn't know about brother. So they were just like, yo, what's up with you? I heard your husband's a snitch. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go kill him real quickly. Yep. She just want to see it if she would cry, but they don't know. He isn't. He acting like he did. Uh, he hasn't seen any of the craziness she's done so far. All right, maybe he hasn't. I guess. Yeah, she hides it pretty well. Uh, like Anya's seen it multiple times, but I think Lloyd only saw it the one time when he fought her. And the bull. Oh, and the bull. Uh, I I I like the first part of the episode, but I think the second part was a lot better. I. I enjoyed it, even though it was really short. Yeah, I agree. Uh, just the, it was a short story about like Anya, uh, the penguin and, part. Yeah, the penguin. Yeah, Anya, penguin, and Vaughn. And I just like the whole uh, exchange between all three of those characters. Well, two of the characters. One's a flushy. Uh, I like the part where Floyd said, "Those scars aren't uh, aren't something to be ashamed of. They're badges of honor." And all that true, true. battle scars, very true, very true. Yeah, what a good guy. <laughs> Didn't realize that in the previous episode, Anya opened up the door, but what a smart, semi smart spy! What a semi smart spy. Wait, say that again. Anya opened what? Remember, Anya opened the door in the previous episode, the secret spy door. And yeah, the left of the bed. Oh, yeah. He's, I, don't, I feel like he lets his guard down too much for her, even though he's quote unquote attentive. <laughs> She's four years old, so. Mm. Yeah, but 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 she's also the mission, so I feel like very true. Very saying true. Saying she's four is not well. well she's applicable well, here she, in this case. She, she, he well, thinks he she's definitely six. lets his guard down around her. He lets his guard down around both of them. That yeah. goes to the point that uh, Fiona is making right. She like, normally puts on a fake smile, but this is actually a real one. <gasps> How dare he! I know. What did the you way do? they framed this episode was kind of weird, though. Like the ending credits happened like seventeen minutes in or something. Mm-hmm. And weird. then the, the second part after the credits, it, it was weird. Yeah, I was upset, but I don't know. I didn't. I didn't like love Wait, this yeah, episode. Uh, well, oh, they um they had to do it like that because the. Uh, can you imagine if they just transitioned back without the end credits? Yeah, from the last scene of her crying in the rain like that, and they just went to Anya <laughs> <in> the <bed. laughs> having a good time dancing. Yeah, they had Not- to end the show right there. No, I agree. I think I think he's right. I think they did. Yeah. Sure. But I mean, I this is a overall pretty good episode. I can't wait for the, the next one. I guess this is the tennis match that I got spoiled on. So uh, we'll see what this is about. We'll see what this is about. Should be interesting though. That's true. I love uh, a, I love a good match. I give it an eight. It's a little eight out of ten. Very enjoyable. Try to see what happens. I give the first part like a seven. The second part like a nine. So. An eight. Eight. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little eight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's say it's about a, about a, uh, it's about a seven, seven and a half. I can't. Eight. I can't read it. About I can't eight. read it. About eight. About eight. About eight. About eight. Yeah. Well, you chin. I can't. I can't read it. How would so you? How would it. you if you had to though? Probably like a seven. So about an eight. Probably like a yeah, seven. About an eight. About an eight. About eight. About eight. Yeah. Eight, eight on the board. Eight. All right. I'm actually gonna rate it a six just because I don't want to be like you guys. But you're not gonna base it on anything? Yeah, but it's about an eight. I think it's about an eight, actually. Think about it again. It's about an eight. That's what I feel like. I thought I was gonna really like her character when she was like introduced in the end scene or end credits or whatever from the last episode, but maybe it's because I wasn't really paying attention. You said you thought you would like her character? Yeah. You like the stone face, huh? You, That's what gets you what going. Are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> you like a good stone face. Yeah. I love that. Like a poker face? Pup, pup, pup. Lady Gaga. Pup, 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 poker face. I, uh, I really enjoyed Blue Lock this 
episode. Yeah, speaking of poker faces, Blue Lock has an excellent poker face. Usagi kun. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I mean transitions are not my specialty. I really did. I <laughs> really unless, did like it. Though. Unless it's a transition offense opportunity by the team wide. Ah, oh, incredible! Uh, incredible! Uh, no! Incredible! So I linked a clip of Josh Hart in the in the Discord. Okay. And the white dude, the white hair dude, I don't know his name, but that dude has too much flexibility. He's definitely gonna tear his knee if he keeps whatever he's doing with the with the soccer ball. Or Gold Gold especially because he's not, yeah, especially because he's not doing anything. And he doesn't stretch or anything like that. Yeah, he doesn't so stretch, he's... doesn't play anything. He's gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna have insane nerve damage. And I I don't like how they immediately just say he's a monster after just one goal, especially after the way that he just got destroyed by uh, Barrow at later uh, earlier that night. Like that's yeah. that's kind of crazy that you just say he's a monster. But whatever. I think they called him a monster because he stopped the the animation in midair. <laughs> yeah. Held the ball, and held the ball while in midair, and then somehow used his double jump ability to. He, he to broke. Kick he it broke the, the fourth wall of the animation. <laughs> literally, literally, he stopped the animation. It was like, it was like actually like trying to stop a, a moving like vehicle. He did it. Stopped the whole thing. The ball. The whole everything stopped. Dude's peripheral vision was going crazy. And crazy. then kick the ball in. I do want to say that they say let's try that, and I expect them to do the exact same goal with the head. But didn't about? do that. The white hair dude. White hair dude. The guy who's like, uh, it's which a pain. goal are you talking about? It's a when, pain. He, when he used his head. The literal goal, how it ended. There's only one goal. Yes. Yeah. At the end of the episode. At the end of which episode? This episode. Blue lock. Blue lock, last bro. There wasn't a goal at the end of blue lock. Yeah, there yes, was. there was. <laughs> The dude literally stopped the ball mid air because so, he was like, I'll, "Let's look, copy that, fam." And then they they did a, they stopped their play. They went for a fast break. They threw the ball up. He tried to go for a headbutt and he missed the goal. And then they were like, "Hey, let's try that." And then they tried it. They kicked the ball up, and then mm. he caught it with his foot somehow and it stopped the ball. All the momentum. Oh, y'all talking not Gongararu. I was thinking of Gongararu. Uh, yeah, oh, Gongararu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, uh, y'all talking about Shiwe? Mm. <laughs> Mo literally just looked up the name just now, <laughs> just so that, so that you could say that. Even know if that's the real name. Just <laughs> saying names. Just say. I'm gonna keep I know who you're talking about my, now. Though. My favorite character, by the you're way, you're talking is about the dude with the uh, don't care guy. Yeah, yeah, yes, that's who he said. He said the guy who doesn't care. Uh, yeah, the only you? goal in the entire episode. Literally the only goal. Nah, there's yeah, actually there's actually there's actually Gong four there was actually four goals this episode. But only one about... goal scored uh, in okay, a I in a game. About the one we're teaching, yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Alright, the practice game doesn't count. It was not a practice game, it was a one on one. Oh alright, well, was it official? I mean, I I'm keeping track. One no borrow. <laughs> alright. I will say I did like the practice game where he was like learning how to like read other people and also like figure out how to use his weapon to actually score more efficiently. <laughs> that was kind of weird because he didn't say anything out loud, but the borrow guy was like, "My range is actually twenty seven meters." Like, what? I never said your range is twenty two meters, dude. He realized it though. Wait, he did say it out loud, didn't he? No, 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 he didn't. That was in his mind. He realized it based on the way he was uh, moving. Moving. Yeah. His legs are moving. <laughs> But no, why would you say no that? Way, no way he was saying that out loud, dude. No way. His lips that. were moving. What? Okay, no, no, yeah, it's okay. anime. If your lips are moving, you're not actually talking. That's just how it works. Uh, all right. All right. He was whispering it under his breath, but he definitely said that shit out loud. <laughs> said, <laughs> no, but okay. So imagine from my perspective where I think he's not he talking. Like 20, he was like 23 meters, 4.5 meters across. Six, 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 <laughs> okay. he's he, like, did, he did say part of it out loud. He did say part of it out loud. He didn't say that shit out loud. He didn't say it out loud. He was like fucking Rain Man. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it, and uh, like I've heard it referenced like twenty million times already in my lifetime. Well, right now, yeah. Oh, that's a good movie. Apparently, I've never seen it either. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Schrodinger's Rain Man does it exist? <laughs> it's just a fake movie. Everybody keeps re referencing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Dude, okay, by the way, my favorite character is the guy with the glasses who, like, tries to say a bunch of, like, philosophical things. <laughs> but but, uh, is, that, uh, is that right? Is that right? Yeah. It's like, yeah, I guess, I guess that's right. Also, Joey, do you like the, the, the white hair guy manipulating the rich guy? Uh, oh, it's the other way not, around? It's, 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 no, actually, neither of them are manipulating. They're both straight up honest about what they want. Hey, I want you to be a pro soccer player so I can get to the world. And the other dude's like, hey, I want money because I don't care. They're actually both very open and honest about what they want. There's, there's no manipulating. But it's, 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 manipulation is still manipulation. I can no, see Joe's point, but I think the purple hair guy is definitely, uh, maybe not manipulating, but he, he's, he's gonna, he's on the, he wants to manipulate him. So, he wants so you're to. saying, so you're saying, purple is getting more out of the exchange. I don't know. I don't think so. Purple guy is giving the guy massages and all that. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I feel like white hair dude is getting, is getting. The, I think purple guy has some sort of like fetish for him. That's what it is. Yeah, which is like, to me, very strange. Very strange behavior. I can see it though, because he's like, yo, I've never, I've always gotten what I wanted. I and there's this guy that's my complete opposite that doesn't want anything. But he's amazing. I like I like but that. But he gets everything, yeah. I like that, but I don't like how they're somehow on the same team. Like throughout all these like uh soccer games, like the entire the other team like always has like some sort of camaraderie or some sort of type of game plan. And this team is like a like hey, they have a they have a traitor on their team, dude. Like what? We need to do this. I feel Why like... is my homie gonna stop being goalie? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Never. <laughs> forever, forever relegated to the to the back of the net. I don't understand. Don't move. How are you gonna be the top striker if all you're gonna be is just goalie? You know, you, you know, know what? There's gonna be like from the goal. There, yeah, there's gonna be one episode where he just shoots from the goal and he scores. That'd be hard. I can't wait for that. That'd, That'd be embarrassing. Is there, is there a be. record for that in soccer? Like, has anybody gotten like a hundred meter goal? There's people who've kicked it from the goal and made it in. Yeah, and, and uh, when I was in elementary school, there were definitely a lot of kids that did that. Well, that's kids? different. Yeah. Uh, how about grown-ups? Has there any been grown-ups? any grown-ups? grown-ups no there? idea. No stats. No stats are available at this time by the CMP podcast. Oh. Uh, comment down below if that's possible. Oh, speaking of stats, the World Cup is uh this year, and Chris- Christian Ronaldo, Cristiano... I don't know his name. Uh, he scored in five straight World Cups. It's crazy. You talking about the World Cup? Yeah. No. Who was it? Who was it? No, no, we're we're not. But wait, what are you saying, Joey? You no. hating? Unpatriotic. Yeah. You yeah. just had Thanksgiving. Come on, you gotta be patriotic after Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. We finna slaughter. We finna slaughter them like we slaughtered the Indians. Oh, you can't say that. No, 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 that's not true. No Indians were slaughtered in this episode. <laughs> Christopher Columbus Day was Christopher uh-huh. Columbus Day was last month. It was last month. Yo, my bad. Yeah. Yo, we finna take over the World Cup like we took over America. Is that work? That's fine. That's fine. Okay. That, that's yeah. Fine. Okay. I, I, we we took it back. But yeah. Taxation without Who representation. England. England. The Come Brit, on, bro. The British. We didn't have it originally. Party. No, we took it from them. We never. T- we didn't take it back. We took so it back. talking about the War of eighteen twelve. Eighteen twelve. Took it back. <laughs> so about the war. Come on, talking about the War of eighteen twelve. We took it back, bro. We didn't take, the, we didn't take it back. We the it only all, thing bro. I know about the War of eighteen twelve is that it happened in eighteen twelve. That is true. That's, that's and, the trick. I'll give you one more fact. They burned down the White House. What? Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, and they burned it down. They threw a huge party to burn, baby, burn. Disco and fire. That's where that song was inspired from. Did you know that? Yeah, mm. I actually didn't know that. The White House Burn. I didn't know that. So it was played for uh, Queen Elizabeth that night. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite queen. This is, a, this is a good episode. Rest in peace. This is a good episode. Well, not her. Different one. Oh, yeah, not her. She said to, so rest in peace. No, not her. Definitely not rest. No. I hope she doesn't yep. rest easy. Definitely an enjoyable, uh, definitely an enjoyable episode though, all around. Mm-hmm. I think it, so, uh, uh, the the animation, know. by the way, in the first episode was amazing, but I feel like some parts in like there, there's like so much CGI that just looks awful. 
I didn't really notice the CGI that much. Like I, I seen when it was there, but I didn't really mind it. Are you guys letting homie stay like on the team? I'm with a uh, bleached blonde dude. Oh, no, no, bro, no, no. All I want, still... I, I just want homie to take a shower. Like you see him in bed, still dirty and everything. Like bro, <laughs> That's true. take a damn shower. And, this is and, true. And get does. ready, bro. They, the, the, they just want to let you know that he got beat up by not by their team, but the other team. <laughs> No, wait, as soon as you get out the shower, we beating you up again. You finna get dirty again, bro. No getting No, clean. no, that's a uh, plot building. You see, like last time when he was uh going to the other team telling them the plan, he said he was taking a bath. So they're not letting him take a bath anymore. Oh true, very true. I'm with that. No more baths. <laughs> no more, no more baths. <laughs> and you can't change your clothes no more. Nah. You staying in the same fit. Yeah, we finna call you mud butt now. Mud butt. Yeah, my butt. It's Harry Potter. The wild name. Speaking of somebody. speaking of rocks, Bochi the Rock. Yes. Yo, have you seen it? Nope. Oh, I'm shot. I like this. This was a pretty good episode. I like this episode. It was a really yeah. good episode. I like the way that Bochi like boached all over everybody, and really we got to see just how the good. better person she is. Learning more, I really do, you know, relate her with Chimpak. Because as Chipback is coming here, he's starting to come up more of his shell, taking, you know, real leadership in the podcast. Hey, that's what I say, like about Bochy. Say how Bochy rocked. Say, say. Bochy yeah. really did rock. No, no, no. They actually, they actually, they actually, they actually said that this episode. They actually said that this episode. She, hey, Joe, she did. did you watch it? How'd you know? Oh, man, you know, it just comes to me sometimes. That's the name of the episode, too. Bochy the Rock. Wait, is that the name yeah, of the episode? Yeah, yeah. This is, this the is, the is this the final episode? No, 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 but this is the episode where she became Bochi the Rock. Which is, it's, it's kind of crazy. It's actually kind of crazy. She finally transformed into rock mode? Yeah. <laughs> she did. Yeah, she got a... No, you're joking, but she literally did. <laughs> yeah, she, got she, a, did. she got a 100 That's BST her with sunglasses. increase. When she, when she enters rock mode, she gets like a speed increase every turn. And then mm -hmm. all of her attacks do extra fun. stab damage. Stamina boosts, all the accuracy, because she and... starts hitting. Oh, incredible! Everything, yeah, it's actually pretty and impressive. Incredible. Yeah, she also doesn't miss any notes. It's kind of crazy. She doesn't miss. I like that. That was a that was actually a very nice uh, little character growth they showed, where Bochi decided to take charge of the, of the scene because the the two little brats in the back. True. Oh my gosh! True. I'd have kicked them out. Yo, you up back here, wooty whooping about? Uh, man, I knew we should have came later. Man, these these guys suck. Oh, she's a rock. Oh my and god. Then, I thought this was grown up Anya. <laughs> <laughs> I when he posted in chat, I was like, what just happened in the episode? Oh, that's Bochi the rock mode. Uh, she she basically is grown up Anya. Yeah, I like I like how they're like, please don't use this again. Please don't use this, guys. Uh, but shit, and then uh, what's her name? Bochi took control. It was actually very nice. It was actually very, uh, it was pretty dope. I also like how she like really rocking out. Yeah, her influence is growing because now the other girl is like going bochi mode. When when they mentioned her first name, she was like, "Oh, please don't call me by my first name. It's embarrassing." Ichi Ichigawi. Yeah, Ichigawi. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, she hated being called by her first name. Her name is like Let's Go, or something. Yeah, Let's Go, Let's Go. Kind of crazy. Fire. And she said she said her name is Kita Kita. Yeah, I thought that yeah. was pretty cool. I like how she 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 like said something random for what she wanted to order. And it's like, no, I want French fries instead. Machu Picchu. Oh, Bochi, yeah. Yeah, Machu Picchu. Like, I'll, have the, Picchu. I'll have the Grand Canyon <laughs> somersault eggs. Yeah. What? Machu Picchu for sure. <laughs> yeah, let what me. She, talking about? She's like, let me get dangerous and order Machu Picchu. Grand Canyon. Yeah. We don't, this is not a vacation house. I'm sorry. She's like, oh, I'll just take the fries in. Would you say she really rocked this episode? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, she mm. she became the rock. Mm. Oh, she figured out that uh, she was guitar hero. Oh yeah, the the girl found out. Naji Najikawi. Niji Nijikawa Nijikawa. But good, that's what I said. Good good attempt. She finally all pieced it together. Oh yeah, somehow like the girl, the drunk girl knows the senpai, her si older sister. Kind of crazy. Small world. Senpai. Well, <laughs> and then even more apparently, the uh, the drunk girl was uh, 
she was kind of popping, right? Oh uh, yeah, she was. She used to step on people in her concerts and whatnot. Yeah, and people were down with it still. People would still show up. She used to step on people in her concerts. Is the yeah. Concert. yeah. What is this? A cosplay? She, she would have show up yeah, drunk in your concert. Act like stepping on people in your concert is weird. Yeah, it's actually not that inaccurate. Some people, some people get hurt. Some the light fires. That's like a normal like concert that. thing. I think Mo would have liked it since he likes being thrown up. <laughs> no, I'm not big on concerts. Uh, only time, step- only time I would get stepped on at a concert. Oh man, I was going to take it there. <sighs> oh, sickle mode. Travis Scott. Come on. <laughs> oh wait, you know, you feel me, Chimpai. You feel me on the ticket there. I, I, I it's kind of it's, it's kind of crazy how he didn't he kind of got away with it. It's kind of crazy. Oh, Travis Scott. Yeah. Well, well, what do you want him to do? I thought there would be like a clash action suit against him or something. That's on the the venue. Okay. The venue should have like better security and protocols and stuff like that. All right, whatever you say, whatever you say. At least in my in my opinion, I'm no lawyer though. Not yet, anyway. Joey, Joey really said this You're is growing up on you. Uh, dude, I thought that was Anya. I was like, where does she look like this in the show? I couldn't remember it. <laughs> I mean, I was watching the more one, so it's. Was that was the final scene. You missed it. Yeah, it's a. Uh, <laughs> it's it's when Spy X Family ends. She oh. she grows a yeah. mustache and. It's 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 Jesus. really sad. This is how she infiltrates and saves the world. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that would be such a great twist. <laughs> Bochi is actually Anya. All along. Bochi is actually Anya. And that's why she can see the future. Because she got combined with Borf. Oh, that's we're not gonna we're not like gonna go this. full metal alchemist on this, brother. Yo, yeah. that's crazy. Quiver in the change. Oh Alright, I'll God. give this I'll this I'll give this video this video episode a nine out of ten. I'll give it an eight. Uh it's a ten out of, for me. I, I love this episode. This is a great episode. This is a easy ten. Mm. So an eight all around, you think? Uh, uh no no, no. twenty five, twenty five. Oh. This is a very good episode, man. Speaking of comfy episodes, Demon School. I'm not gonna talk about it because I'm just gonna hate on it, so go ahead. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about it because I haven't watched it. I mean, Mo didn't like this episode very much. Yeah, I said the episode was trash. This is the episode. Was this the episode where it's, they were just talking? Mm-hmm. They were just talk, 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 talk. There was nothing happening in the actual event. But you like Shinobi for that entire reason. Yeah, because Shinobi, Shinobi's, Shinobi's, Shinobi's usually dialogue, dialogue pushes the story forward. Their talking was like. Yo, my student is the best. Yo, <laughs> yeah, my yeah. student is the best. Yo, like, no, my student is the best. like, is, is, is that my student? No, that's not my student. Oh, is that my student? No, that's not my student. And that was pretty oh, much the drinking, entire episode. They were drinking and having that's a good the time. Whole episode. They were drinking and having and a then, good time. And then Grandpa was like, where's where's my buddy? Where's buddy? And they were like, that's, yeah, that's nowhere that's to be my, found. He's my favorite guy. This was basically a recap episode. Yeah, it was literally a recap episode, but with actual animation for whatever reason. This is the craziest thing ever. They're <laughs> like they should have just focused on one or maybe two people, maybe two. Give me Irma and give me red hair Ozku. I, I don't really care about the other. Was, else so what was what was the, what was the beginning care. of the episode about? Who's the new guy for me? The new guy is he new? Orange hair dude. The beginning of the episode was Irma stuck in Claire's. I think I thought wasn't it? The orange hair dude did. I don't. I don't really know. And Dissimia. Oh, oh! You're talking about you're talking about the sleeping dude, the dude who's always sleeping. I guess. And Dissimia or something. I don't know his name. They were calling him Endymion or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Endymion. Yeah. What? It's the dude that always has like the the eye cover on. He's always on the cloud sleeping. Yeah. I mean, That's I don't know. Name. He just has orange hair. I'm trying to explain. Maybe you would remember him. I know who he is, though. <laughs> I know who he is. <laughs> who I'm he is. trying to explain it to you who he is. <laughs> yeah, I, I know who he is. <laughs> what were you saying about him? Uh, is that how they... I thought that was, like, in the middle of the episode. But either way, what were you saying about him? What was the point of that? Because it, it felt like the episode was about, like, them watching everybody else. But, like, he was just in there. In no, the you're, 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 you're agreeing with my point. This episode was so scattered. Like, yeah. I... It just didn't even make it didn't make sense how 
they laid it out. We went. Uh, I, I I don't even know. It, it's so scattered that it's scattering me. <laughs> it's, it's scattering me. They literally. I think they started with Irma or they started with orange hair, and then they switched to the other one, and then they went to the recap. Follow the old people. Yeah. Who started flipping through all the contestants? <laughs> who, who also flipped through Orange Head and Irma again, and then at the very end we get Oscoon to see what he's doing. Who's Oscoon? Like red hair. Okay. The 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 guy who punched in in, in season one. No. Yeah. Joey, don't do this. Uh oh. Because you, you know you, it. You know, red hair and Blondie. It's his, it's his favorite. It's his favorite dude. The guy who's always with him. So I mean, it, it 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 was just it was just all over the place. I didn't really like it. The dialogue they did have was like I said, literally just them uh, circle jerking and like, no, nah, mine is the best. It's like the it's like the other dialogue when they're to- in the top of the Demon Lord Tower, showing each other pictures. They literally retook the Demon Lord show each other pictures scene, and then transplanted it into the Harvest Festival. It was, Let's all brag about our students. It's strange too, because there was no episode last week. So maybe like this was the episode that was supposed to be last week, because like last week, like usually when there's like there a- was an episode last week, it came out late. Yeah, uh, that's what that's what we're talking. Yeah, that's the, that's that's this episode. So there's no episode this week. There will there should be. Okay. So this is the episode that was late from last week. Yeah, Demon School dropped yesterday, right? Yeah. And I yeah. thought one dropped on a, on a Monday. And the other one that dropped was the one where he was inside Claire's stomach, and uh, they were playing around and you know, being worn out, basically. Oh, that was a whole different episode. Yes, that was a whole different episode. Holy smokes! So Yo, the... what happened the last episode then? The last, last episode, them just talking. It's just not talking, like you said. So the last episode... episode was one whole episode. So the last, Claire okay. So the last episode You're that lying. I watched. <laughs> That's but, crazy. But, 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 but. So let me let me be clear. There was no episode last week, but the last episode that I watched, out not, not this week. Okay, so the, the there was an episode this week. The what episode before about? the episode before this week was Irma Kun and Lead, and they were cooking and they were saving their supplies, and then they, he the Lead got manipulated by, uh, the girl, and then an episode dropped after that. It just dropped late. So there's two episodes after that episode. Correct. Okay. Did you see the the Claire toy box episode? Do you remember that? No, I don't. Yeah. Know. Inside Claire, basically, they were playing and having a good time. That was the whole episode. Hey, sounds like a good time for Irma. Sounds like a good time for my boy. He enjoyed it. And then they got at the end when they were having fun. She pulled him out. She did pull him out. It was with this. Well, no, the other girl pulled him out. Yeah, she was like, "Hey, guys, not too much fun here." All right, six out of right. ten. I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. Yeah, it's pretty low ranking this week. Okay, so there was two episodes. Damn. I can't believe the Claire episode was one whole episode. I'm sorry, Demon School's kind of falling off. It's just it's sort of this for this thing. I think it's just this arc. Just for right I now. Mean, this I arc, this arc should be popping episode. off because it's like a tournament arc. But it's just, right now they're just looking for stuff. So that's, I think there's too much story to cover. But it'll be fine. Okay. I think it'll be fine. Let's talk about Shinobi. No, no, mob Psycho, Mob Psycho. You don't, we mob don't. Psycho? Listen, the first part of Mob Psycho, like the first half, I absolutely loved it. Oh, it was so good. The friendship, the the bonding, the looking around. When the when Is the girl, more? yeah, yeah. When the girl was like, "You guys are, you guys have got to be kidding me!" Like this guy, you, you this guy that left the club, you're saying he's a psychic. You're saying he was a telepath the whole time. Why are you guys joking with me? This is enough. I'm going down the mountain. Like, I love that. It was beautiful. And then, and then, like, they, they showed that he was he was tired, but he was actually tired because he was studying the whole time, not because he woke up late, not because he overslept. Oh. That was beautiful. It was like, man, this guy cares. She cares. Everybody cares. Everybody, everybody's just being mob. Mabu. Mabu-kun. And, and then the aliens <laughs> and actually then the, came. And then the aliens Are actually came. About this episode? And then the aliens actually came. I was like, "All right, this episode has fallen off a little bit from the beginning." Did you guys think the aliens were actually going to show up? No, I didn't think they were going to look like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the aliens were a little weird. 
<laughs> they had a good time. Then they abducted the dude, basically. <laughs> that I actually enjoyed the alien part a lot. Like, not so much when they were all hanging out, but like that end part where he's just stranded alone on the island and he just yeah. has to like defend for himself. It was just weird. It was just weird to me. It didn't make any sense. This episode was filler. It was trippy. That's all this is is filler. Not filler. It was. Uh, How did this push the story forward? It was closing off the telepathy club. You know, it's a big major part of the story. It's how Mob. No, it's not. It's a, it's Don't a, lie to big, me. It is a. It is a big for Mob. It was big. Yeah. It was like the first club he was like accepted in, besides the bodybuilder club. He has the body. Yeah, he has the bodybuilder club. Yeah, but he no, went and meet the bodybuilder you, club. It wasn't this if club. If someone didn't talk about the tele, the telepathy club, you wouldn't have gave a fuck about it. Are you kidding me? You but wouldn't I, even notice if it disappeared. And plus, doesn't he have another year of school left? I thought no, it was well, just middle days. school. It's the last year of middle school. And it's all about it's all about creating memories, Moe. It's all about creating memories. Yeah. They're still his friends. So, so okay. how's it how's it filler if you create a memory? Huh? Check, check. Have you seen as, Naruto? Have you seen Naruto? As Hans Niemann would say, checkmate. There's like, there's, oh, okay, the Naruto just has a shit ton of memories. There. You're right. I don't remember anything about Naruto. I didn't watch Naruto. I read it. Me neither. That, all this was was just another way to waste time, run air time. We don't really have the idea of what else to do right now. Maybe the 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 manga drags for some part or whatever. And let's just throw this, <laughs> this shit is, in there. This is, the, this is the final season. How can they be filler? That's pro- it makes more sense how it's filler then. If this is the final season, they have to stretch out to the 13 episodes. No, no. They, they did it because, like, last arc was pretty intense. So they had to, like, slow it down so people don't get, like, overwhelmed. That, that is, I mean, they, yeah, we, I don't we literally just did the broccoli fight. Like that, that's, that's, that's I can also tell really you, weird. I know it's filler because they label it filler. They're literally they labeling it as such. It, it's kind of weird how like I, I they call it transmission. Okay, dude. Oh, I guess. Mm. But you know, it's, transmissions aren't necessarily like bad. Like fillers aren't bad. I didn't say. Uh, oh, well, I'm saying it's bad. Yeah, you were. I'm you're also, saying okay, it's but bad. I'm all, but filler. my original point. What what I said was that it's this is just filler. I am also saying it's bad though. I am making. I just want to make that. I am also saying that too, as well. Mm. This is I, filler and it's bad. I, I think, think it's a nice ending. ending. I liked I liked the first part. I didn't like the second part. I think it was a good. I think it was a good ending to like the second club. Basically. Yeah, I agree with Mace. It was a nice ending to the. It was very nice. Something soft, something we get to spend time and do it. He actually gets to be, be a kid for a bit, which is not something Wob ever gets to do either. And then they get abducted by aliens, but was which is very on par with Mob, like and everything going on. If I want to watch Filler, I'd turn Demon School back on. No, you wouldn't. You would. You would no. watch the entirety of Mob Psycho. Uh, that basically the same thing. No, what we got from Mob and what we got from Demon School, same same. I, I don't know about that. I haven't watched Demon School, so I'm just going to say Mob was better. This is about eight. It's about an eight. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I mean, how else would you end the Psychic Club? Like, their whole arc? Would you do a serious fight at the end? It, I, this is the only rational conclusion yeah. to it. I can't fight the kids. Who, who gives a shit about the Psychic Club? <laughs> Since when have you cared about the Psychic Club? Since Mob and friends. Since they said they're disbanding the psychic club, that's when I started to care. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's the only reason anybody gives a shit about this is because they literally brought it up. No, baby, they didn't don't bring go. this shit up. Nobody would no, care. I need you. It's literally psychic just bullshit club. they had it in. I need you, the psychic club. I need uh, it. What's the girl's name again? Hey, uh-huh. there we go. Who oh, no. knows? Caligale? Caligo? I kind of remember her name. Caligale? Caligo or something like that. Something like that, yeah. Look at them saying, there we go, and then he remembers her name. That's how he knows no, that. No, because I, I, I like Mob, so I was actually trying to watch the episode and get into it. I just, I was like, this is shit. This, is, <laughs> this shit is shit. 
<laughs> okay. Speaking of speaking of that, let's 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 go to Shinobi then. <laughs> nah, we not finna call this shit shit. You like the episode? It progressed the story. This shit wasn't bad. Shinobi? Yeah, it wasn't bad for Shinobi. Dude, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what's going on anymore in Shinobi. Like, what, what is happening? What do you mean you don't know what's going? on? Tell me what you mean by that. Like, like ninja, ninja soldiers that aren't like cyber, cyber ninja soldiers. What's going on? What's going on here? What are it's we just doing robot here? Cops. What are we doing <laughs> like here? Robots. Do we not like that? No, I, I hate like- it. And the and the dude like this just this just like this looks like a stereotype of like chip out chip out want real bodies on the street. It's, it looks he like, like it's on the ground. Like when the what what's the clan? Isa Iga clan? Iga clan? Yeah, the Iga clan. Oh, Iga clan Iga. looks like like oh, it's it's like a stereotype of like jihad war. They're like, oh, I'll sacrifice myself for the greater good. And I'm just like, ah, oh, okay, dude, this is this is a little bit too much. Like, the grandma comes out of nowhere. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna fight. Like, who are you? Who are these people? Everybody in the everybody in the village is. A I ninja? thought she was a spy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's what I thought too. Like, she came she out came of nowhere. No, I thought she was a spy. I was like, oh, she could have stabbed me in the back. Wonder Girl did like some damage to you, man. You think everyone's a spy? Nah, but she because she came up out of nowhere. You know why this was a good episode? Because the main character wasn't useless in it. Like, he is in every episode. I was going to bring that up. He was pretty useless for about 30 minutes of, like, of his speech. He was like, all right. 30 <laughs> minutes the... of a 24-minute episode. No, no, no. no. Uh, that, that, uh, when, he was, when he was talking to people, that was 30 minutes. And then she, was, she held him hostage for at least 20 minutes. She was like, just let me go. Just let me go. But I'm talking about, like, fighting-wise. <laughs> like, he's not being useless in actual when he has to do things. That's, That's why it was a decent episode. <laughs> well, he, he doesn't he have didn't, to fight, he? he? didn't have to do anything either. Exactly. That's why it was a decent episode. If he had, if he had had to fight and sucked, it would have been a worse episode. It was also, he had to make the tough choice. What's up with the disguise, though? When they, the when, they, when they went to infiltrate the, the base? Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you mean, what's up? That was pretty good, it felt like. Nah, that was, that the, was weird. They introduced the, the thing like two, three episodes ago with... Uh, what's his name? What's the other guy's name? The... The young guy who was like, I want to destroy Iga. Red hair? Yeah, oh, red hair. Uh, Hajima. Ha- yeah, Hajima. He he introduced that when he was wearing that to pretend to be his teammate or something like that. No, they weren't they weren't using the um the disguise mask. I don't think so, at least. I think they were just like using regular like, disguises, they, right? Yeah, they were like Team Rocket disguises. Oh. Yeah, those I, were just like those were just like costume costume disguises. Yeah, when he was like the guy and the girlfriend. Oh right, I mean they're ninjas; they have to blend in. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was just weird. yeah. That's what I'm saying. That was just regular disguise, regular disguise stuff. You know, you got to do regular disguise stuff. <laughs> there's regular disguise stuff, and then there's ninja disguise stuff. Okay, there's I got advanced. it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I just, I I'll be know. doing disguise stuff all the time. I really do hope that by the end of this, you know, episode, this series, which I, what are it, two more episodes, three, four, uh, two four? or three, unless it's a twenty-five. I don't think it's a twenty-five. I don't think it can afford to be a twenty-five. They can't give us twenty-five of this heat, rock. <laughs> you kidding me? Twenty-five of this heat, rock? That'd be too crazy for the streets. I just feel like I really hope he actually does something because he's not even training to do anything or like get better. He's just going to school and then. Joey, the craziest thing. The right craziest now, thing me. is his mom's not even in jail. She's the leader. Like, what? What is going on? How and are she's you? She's still done more. No, no. How are you the leader? And you like probably the worst decision you could ever make is not letting your son know anything about his heritage. Yeah. yeah. Especially when <laughs> you got when you got a Rico case on you. Can and someone explain why point? the mom's in prison? By the way. She got accused of assassinating. She, she, so how it works is the head of the clan has to take the, the brunt for whatever anybody else in the clan does. So because they're saying somebody from the Eagle clan killed, somebody killed the, the grand, the grand Papios from the Koga clan. Don Corleone. That the mom, like the Don Corleone. Now the mom has to take uh accountability has to yeah. has to hold the mantle for that yeah she gotta okay. hold that okay that's basically why 
Oh, also, this is a 12 episode series. Nice. Damn, that's crazy. I thought they would at least give us a 13 banger. True. Yeah, it seemed like it would be a 13, but I you guess think, it makes sense. You think the final episode it. is him doing something? No. 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 He'll, he'll never do anything. You think this You're is ever too... getting a season two? No. You're too hopeful. It, it might, though. It might, but like I hope season not. Season two? Yo, imagine season two is a banger because this entire season is about him sucking. So it's, it's, in... it's all set up. But like, but like if he actually had a training mode in this, like he didn't even have that. No, it can't. It can't be good because there's, well, there's you, gonna be. You, you remember when he dodged the truck? Yeah, that was episode one. That's why I started watching. So he got some. He got some training in him. Mm. I don't know. Like, that's like with my hero. My hero took like five seasons for me to actually like Deku. Yeah. Well, but that's different though because his power is actually insane. Like he needs to be able to use it. No, it makes sense, but also it's just very disheartening watching uh, him struggle after like five seasons. You're like, at least have something, you know? Are we transitioning to that, or are we still talking about that? Yeah, let's go to My Hero. It was a yeah, fire episode. My Hero has a banger season, this entire right. season. It started off with Eraser cutting off his leg, all right? But it gets better. <laughs> it it starts off with him cutting off his leg. Like, and you would bad. think... So he could use the powers. That's amazing. But no, then Shigaraki charges himself at him and crushes his eyes with his hands. All right. Crazy. But then it gets yeah. even better because Deku uh, reveals that he has the float ability. So he can oh, use float. Oh, no. And then, I mean, we got some about backstory, um, which I think uh, means that I, I think Shigaraki is actually the, the, I think the, the I think um, the old guy was lovers with the woman. Grant um, yeah, Grand oh. I think he was his love. They were lovers. Pretty sure. I feel yeah. Like that. yeah. That was that was I think that was implied from the last episode. Yeah, yeah, that was implied from the last. I'm sorry, I had to watch two at once. But um okay. so then he has better control of his black whip. To... Hold on, hold on. So to further on that point, not only is he was it kind of implied that he uh was with the last uh, one for all. But they're actually but then also that uh, Shigaraki is his kid. Yeah. Yeah. That's what so, I thought it was a little crazy. crazy. I, I always thought it was just like after she gave up being a hero, she just found love again in Gran Torino. Or not, not give up being a hero, give up her family to be a hero. Could have been. Maybe, but they both seemed pretty sad at having to leave the kid there. Yeah, and they were hugging each other and doing all that stuff. So, um, and then on top of that, Deku, well, I mean, the previous episode, Deku used 100% and then Shigaraki caught in his mouth. Which is crazy awesome. to me. But on top of that, he uses Black Whip, saves everybody when Eraser eventually can't do his thing because his thing is cut out, basically. He's like, he's, he's, you know, there's blood over his eyes and he's, he's running out, whatever. So he uses Black Whip to jump everybody, floats in the air, holds everybody in the air, and then even in an endeavor at the end does the whole fire when they three work together with Bakugo, Bakugo, and then they even have a reference to the first episode. I just couldn't stop myself and I started running, right? The literal first episode. This was a ten out of ten episode. It was a great episode. I yeah, like we the got backstory. That, uh, like, yeah, we got a backstory uh, too. Shigaraki was like, uh, "Oh, this guy could actually kill me." Yeah. <laughs> I love that Shigaraki was like, "Eraser, you're so cool." He still says it. Yeah, he was still like, "Oh, damn." He was like, "Man, Eraser, you really are cool." Which I, I thought the same thing. I was like, "Yeah, you were cool as f me." Cool as no hell, way, I'm chop my leg off, man. There's no. I don't think I'd have had the the. The boss to do it. I, don't, I just don't. I just don't think it's the Thank current. Thank you for protecting me with your wing, because I saw you take the shot. I can now cut off my leg, no problem. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm here thinking I'll do this and I'll just get the girl to eventually reverse everything. Was he saying it like that, or was he saying it because like uh, she let him know that it was a deleter bullet? I think it was actually because she was willing to take the cut in her wing to protect him. He was willing to, which is basically her hand. He was willing to. Uh, like. Yeah, with no hesitation. Literally no hesitation. In the first 30 seconds, he looks at them and cuts it off. He's already taking out the knife while the bullet's like shooting. It's not like he did it as a, as a reaction. He was literally doing it as the bullet's shooting. Like the bullet didn't hit him and then he takes out the knife and does it. You just see the motion. Chop Crazy. leg off. Crazy. Crazy episode. My Hero this season, all bangers. It's impossible not to be bangers. It's the war arc, right? Yes. I, I agree. Yes? Maybe I don't know how this goes. When uh when Eraserhead like cut off his leg, it brought, 
it made me think about like Stain and how Stain was thinking like All Might's the only good hero. But I was thinking Racerhead's like definitely like Stain's ideal for a hero as well. Like willing to do whatever it takes just to like, you know, make sure the villains are defeated. Yeah, if Stain met Eraser, he would have he would have probably stopped attacking people. Maybe That's I, don't true. Know. I, mean, I don't know about that. I mean he's a top hero that would do it. Like anyway, Eraser's sick. You got his leg cut off, you got his eyes basically scratched. Like Eraser sick. The other um so uh the and for the kids that were in uh the giant dude's way. Also, I was thinking about this while the scientist was talking. I was like, yo, nobody's going to hit him? Nobody's going to be like, yo, shut up and just hit him real quickly? Yeah, I mean, I'm you like, can't because he's already, he's already captured. So they're heroes. They're not villains. So they don't be. Oh, come on. They're cops, though. Come on. <laughs> okay. But he's white. He's white. white. He's white. He's white. He's white. He's white. He's white. He's white. Right. I know right. how this goes. But, but the, it, it was pretty sick to see the, the, the other guys. I mean, I guess we're just waiting on the anesthesia, uh, anesthesia to, to, to happen, but... Yeah, it's wild. And how they how they were on the phone, like every city was gonna be destroyed. That's yeah, they're like, yo, and, if and you're De- breathing right now, please evacuate. And Deku using black, even though he's running out of black because he's losing control because he's been doing it too long, he's using it to actually like as a band-aid over his hands to still keep fighting. To keep it's fighting. Wild. Yeah. yeah. And he's throwing all kinds of state hits out. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. they said Wyoming. Oh, he said South Nebraska. Oh, you know, the race is there too. Nebraska. <laughs> oh. He's throwing out racist hits, liberal hits, That's it. That's it, hits, all kinds of hits. It was impressive. Detroit we just kept, and then he was like using like a yo yo, bringing him back and forth, punching and back kicking. And forth, punching it, was, it, was, it was a smart way to fight him, though. It was a smart way to fight him. And I love that he's just floating in the air. Like they made reference to it. I, th- I thought it was funny that we saw the training scene. They picked really good heroes to help him learn, obviously. Like um, freaking Band Aid tape dude. Uh, I, I guess sense. I was talking about him uh, completely deleting Homeboy out of his head. Because he was yeah. like, "Yo, come on, bro, let me take over. I'll show, I'll show you how to, I'll show you how to really work this." Yeah, I told you. I said, like, I'll I show it. you. And I mean, no, at the end, that's basically he would what break happened, him right? out. Yeah. So we're still waiting on that. We're still waiting because I'm the, saying at, at the end, that's what happened, though, right? He he learned. He's not breaking. He's not broken out. He just took over his body for a second. Yeah, and got all Maybe his powers out and put this stuff. We'll see. Yeah, Either we'll way, see. banger of an episode. I think my favorite oh, part was alive? Bakugo, was alive? Oh, which one with Bakugo? When Bakugo was actually running? No, no. Actually, I think it was when he was talking to Old Might. It was just like, this is how Deku is. He's a self, uh, self-sacrificing uh, person. Oh, yeah. He's and... admiring him now and everything. Instead of like, it's a lot more from when they fought each other. Mm-hmm. Like now, now it's like pure respect. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like... And admiration. Instead of oh, frustration. Yeah. Like if he is frustrated, it's because he wants to help him and wants to... He wants to be stronger. He wants to be better. It's not because he hates the person. Yeah. It's, exactly. it's pretty good competitive spirit. Like it's it. definitely competitive. There's no hate. I don't, I don't know about all this respect and stuff. I don't know how much he respects it. Respect. I'm going to give it a buck. That dude, Bakugo, that dude, Bakugo, 100% a hater. 100%. If they won, hater. Day one's crazy. What is day one hater? You think he's dead, too? He's what? You think he's dead or alive? He's dead. He's burned up in flames. 100%. The episode's uh, literally called Bakugo Rising. They're not going to kill him in the episode where he says that. You saw his rising. Yeah, here he rose. Now he's dead. So hey, He's rising from the dead. He Bakugo, rose up to, uh, to take Bakugo that hit. Rising he, down. he rose up to hate on Deku again. That's, what he That's how he lives. He, he lives by hating. I respect it. Oh, you know what the rising is? The rising is his legend. Because he's dead. Because he's My Hero dead. Academia. Yeah. It's actually Bakugo talking about. That, I, I, I'm not going to lie. How I was like, yo, what is hero talking this whole time? How I became the greatest hero. Just like turn, the voice change and everything. <laughs> uh, good episode. I mean, it's a good episode. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Banger. Dude, this, season, this season's been great. Like, I haven't had really one complaint. The fights have been good. The The way they're pacing the story. Is actually interesting, right? It's not like how uh, Aruma is giving us very little pieces in between and nothing happening, and then they're like, sorry, I think this is actually like, I think it's really good. And then, like about- uh, we didn't talk about the episode before, but real quick, they threw the the uh, the anesthesia in the dude's mouth, 
and the homie was like, "Oh, y'all, ain't, y'all thought this was my final form." Yeah, yeah. I guess my and Kir- Kirishima, um, he basically finally paid the girl back. Well, not finally, but he like he protected her from the the big guy back in the day because it ended up being the same. You know, remember Acid Girl? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Her pa- Yo, I don't. I'm sorry, but she needs to start killing people. Mm-hmm. Like your your power is literal acid. Stop using it as a defense and as a deterrent, and just start yeah. spraying it on these villains. Spraying acid on people. She's a hero. <laughs> she can well, kill that one guy. I think he can take the damage. He has no pain receptors. At least just melts his legs and his arms. I don't That's know. That's cruel. But also, like, there's a fine line there. You can you can knock some people off and still be a hero. It's okay. They do it all the time. It's look like at, uh, it's like the brain. it's like what Midnight said about the anesthesia. Like there's a sometimes there's a line it gets a little blurry and you gotta cross it. You know what I'm saying? Look, if they wanted to kill him, they would have just made the anesthesia poison and just poison him to death. As as Moed always says, it's all about perspective. As it should be. They should have poisoned him. I agree with you. I think we're saying the same thing here. Yes, yeah. I, I mean, I in that situation, he's dead. Like, I'm not trying to bring this man back to life. I don't see a point. That dude's a threat. No, that's a that's a big old monster. That guy needs to die. It's a big old monster. Especially if you're like, it's a bunch of kids too, so you're like clearly outclassed. No one would blame you if you killed the guy. I would. So, uh, what happened? Did he hit him? We left off with him hitting him. And then, right, he stabbed Kacha. I remember now. Yeah. Are they gonna? So, do you think they'd link up with the monster next episode? Because he's gonna make it to him, right? There's no way around that. Uh, I think it's gonna be, I, I maybe, maybe, because there's still a lot of towns in the way. But the dude basically, you know, his body got taken over, and they did, um, uh, what's it called? The, you know, the stuff came out of his body. Rigor mortis. Yeah, he has his own black web, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. So yeah, I don't know. we'll see. This should this is gonna be crazy. Banger episode though. Banger episode, banger season. Finally we're getting all the Deku is going crazy too. Like he's crying but out of anger. You know, and, and sadness, and he's using that frustration and he's like, I got to use a hundred percent. I need him to use a million percent though. Just a little million. You so you think his arms are, are gonna be toast after this? Nah, he'll be fine. He'll be the first know. armless hero. Yeah, he doesn't need his arms, he has legs. Yeah. No, this part might be true. He'll, well, he'll start having black I mean, whips at his hands instead. Yeah, dude, they, they always have, uh, they always have, what's it called anyway? They always have that girl, once she controls her powers, like, that girl's the reason people are going to get back their powers, their legs, their everything, right? She's literally, Aerie. yeah, Ari's literally the biggest asset. They're just waiting on her being able to be used. She's literally the Wait. biggest asset this team has. She can't reverse the damage to his arms, can she? Yes, she can. She can. She, she reverses time, time, basically. Yeah, she, she literally brings back time, which is why she erases people by accident. That's how she erased her parents, I believe. Oh, right. I completely forgot she did that. She erased them? Yeah, she basically put them, like, she hugged them and they died. That's, like, the whole thing. That's her whole backstory. She they got too close. Yeah. She didn't know how to control her power. But, I mean, that's why Deku, remember, he was using he was 100%, like, the whole time. Because all the damage he was doing, she was constantly healing it. So all I need to do is that. The same way that uh, Millennium... I thought she reverses your get his power back, obviously. No, dude, she reverses time. Now, they they, uh, they use that power to make the bullets that can get rid of just your quirk. Right? Yeah. They isolated that to get the, the thing that can get rid of your quirk. But no, she basically just reverses time. That's her thing. She could bring back time. Like I'm telling you, everything. Deku needs to be like Bane and just have like some fluid into his uh, mouth. That constantly Dude, like reverses Deku time. Just needs to have Deku just needs to have some armor on him that takes her to battle, and that's it. <laughs> like this is the, this girl needs to be there. She'll be like his Robin, and he's mm-hmm. Batman, and then just fight the entire time because that's how you win. The Ren to a Stimpy. <laughs> the Pikachu. The to cat to so does she like yes. undo like uh, like regain stamina as well? Like if Deku uses her this. And like loses like I don't know like fifty percent stamina. Does she like regain stamina too, or like how does that work? I have no idea because it's all adrenaline that's keeping him going anyway. That's true. But, uh, I really have no idea. But if I'm if I've lost that stamina due to damage, I assume that she'd, you know, be able to reverse it. 
But in that self like world hunger too, so it's like touch area and you won't be hungry anymore. Well, once she controls her powers, but I'm assuming she doesn't actually bring back like so that to be work. Like that. so that's a work you'd have to have been full at some point, right? Yeah, but you just need one meal and then you're set as long as you touch her within time. Yeah, that's not gonna fit into the capitalism budget though. Yeah, she's like three, so or five. We're gonna have a little or eight. I don't know. She's like I know she's like small for her age. She might be she like twenty five and like actually five. five. She went from three to five to eight. She might funny. actually be thirteen. I don't know. I just know that she's six. eventually she's gonna be there, and then we're gonna see Millennium, right? Lemonium, Lemillion, Lemillion. Yeah, that's him. You're gonna see him come back with his powers because of her, obviously. That's what's gonna happen. I'm sure that's gonna happen with Eraser. He's already moved on. He's gotten a job as an accountant. He's no. He's literally her watcher. That's his job. He's, he's already moved on with. His life. He's got a nine to five a wife. It's okay. When your dreams get crushed like that, like in Blue Lock for what's his name? That won't Juan? make it too far. What's, well, the what's dude the that died in episode one? Oh, him. <laughs> yeah. The, the, dude, the guy that probably would have been better than Bunkhead over there? Yeah. Bunkhead? Monk, yeah. Monk, the, monk the, the guy who was just like uh, 275, I think his number was. The, yeah, yeah. The absolute, the absolute, last absolute last trash can. <laughs> I mean, weird dreams get crushed like that. You gotta. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna become a monk. That's right. That's yeah. Trash. Yeah, he's he's about to go to the temple. That you gotta you gotta transition your dreams. Like he will. He's gonna have to go to the temple. La Million has became an accountant. Mm. It's cool. But Clark Kent was a a reporter, so anything could happen. He was a farmer too. Which is true. Yeah. Either way, banger episode. It was pretty good, yeah. I'll give it like a nine. I give it a nine too. I give it a nine just for now, just because I want to see. I want to see when I'm blown away by the tens. Because he has, he still, he still has a bunch of other powers he got to use. But I'm, I'm hyped. I'm hyped that he could use his three. I will say the anime is much more enjoyable. Like I remember reading the manga and just like it dragging on like every week. But I like the pace they have with the anime. Nice. Wins for the anime. Probably something about earlier uh, volumes that dragged on. What? Win for the anime bros now, though. And that's what matters. Yeah, stop reading watch it, the anime. True. And this is One Piece. You have to read One Piece. You can't watch One Piece. I watch One Piece weekly. But that's just you torturing yourself. <laughs> hourly. Hourly, I as Mo would it. say. I New, new episodes drop every hour. This is My Hero Academia. Well, they, it's, not, it's not new episodes. They keep... They actually just recycle the animations from previous episodes and string them together and then re-upload them for everybody to enjoy. My Why are you hating? Like Bochi did the same thing this episode. Oh, What did Bochi do? Bochi is, did not do that this episode. Hello? The transformation thing. Wasn't that done like last episode? The, but it wasn't this animation. Wasn't it? One Piece will literally show you the same animation of the sea five times. True. In five yeah. different episodes. Oh, that's old One Piece. Now new One Piece is doing amazing with Wano. You're right. New One Piece will show you the same animation of them kicking a dragon for five episodes. <laughs> okay. I like right. how I like how Moa knows like what's what's currently going on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like you you know you gotta be a good hit. If you're a good hater, you know what's going on currently. I keep up. Hey. I keep He's up a long form hater, okay. <laughs> All right. Man does this research. If you're just hating just to hate, like it's not it's not good. But like yeah, that's no fun. I watch a couple. Here's the thing: I watch. I've seen a couple of clips of the new One Piece, and it's there's the no same fire. thing. Nothing oh, changed. No fights. The show is still. It's it's like worse Dragon Ball. It's like old Dragon Ball. Is Luffy literally screaming half the clip, attacking? I mean, come on. Yep. So, so. Oh, you're right. Dude. Nothing's wrong. I'm hating. Thank you. Yeah, you're a hater. Thank, thank you for thank you for acknowledging that. Yep. That about does it for the podcast. 
Thank you guys for watching. Slash listening. Goats. Oh, oh rating modes hate. Oh, before we go, Joey, what's your uh, what's your status anime you watched? Mm, the anime that's got me the saddest. What can I say? Uh, I have to think about that. I have to think about that. Off the top of my head, that's really hard. I'll get back with the next episode. Okay. I'll think about it all week. <laughs> <laughs> all week. Nice. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Right. Goodbye.